Hi, my name is Alfred Munyo. I'm playing the role of Silas in the hit show Crime and Justice, which is coming soon on your channel Showmax. It's the first ever Showmax original series, so be sure to watch it and keep it locked. Um, the series I'm currently watching is called The Kings of Joburg. I've enjoyed uh, quite a, a number of them, but I can say the one that I can still remember is uh, a, a screenplay written by, it was first a stage play. It was written by Kajetan Boy. He's a local uh, scriptwriter and he's also a director. Um, it was, it's called All Girls Together. Then it went through the theaters as a, script, as a stage play, and then he converted it into a screenplay, then did the movie All Girls Together. And starred McBoon, and Nice Givenji, and a few other local actors. COVID really affected me as Alfred because um, when it all started and the whole halabaloo about it coming to Kenya made so many productions come to a halt. Um, we were supposed to start a movie in April last year that was postponed indefinitely. And um, you know, when you're called up for a role and you, you sign the contracts, you know, you start already spending the money before <laughs> you start, you get the job done, you know. So um, it really took us back and then subsequently other productions also came to a halt and at some point nothing was moving. Then the Akina Prisk and Kekobo, the, our societies also bailed on us. When the president gave them the money, they were nowhere to be seen. So it was tough. It was tough because I have many mouths around me that I need to feed. And, you know, I have so many people looking out, looking up to me to, to sort them out. So it was quite a hassle. Right now, top of my head, I can think of two. Um, there's a movie called Sincerely Daisy, where we have Foy. Uh, Foy is also acting in one of the episodes in Crime and Justice, episode three. It's, in my world, that's the best episode out of the eight. And the way she brought it out, it's a, it's a story about a teenage girl who stabs her father because her father had defiled her ever since she was five years old and had a baby with her and the mom didn't help her because, you know, society, you know, keep it on the hush-hush. So when this other child got to five years old, her resolve was to kill the father because he might start with the other. Yeah, so it was a very emotional episode where you can't know that, did she do right to kill the dad? Was it a right thing? You know, it, it's really, and the way she portrayed it, it was just crazy. Like we watched it the other day, like, I, I don't even know what to say. So Foy is definitely a force that's gonna take yeah, Foy Wamboya. She's gonna take over she's gonna take over the, 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 the industry if if we do right by her. And then same same movie, Sincerely Daisy, there's a guy I didn't really sorry. There's a guy that I I don't know the name, but he acted as Chalo Mistari. Very small role. He was uh, trying to woo Daisy on at the end. The guy just did the two or three scenes justice when he, like when he, how he delivered everything. So I think those two for now, uh, Foy Wamboy and that Chalo Mistari guy, yeah, they're, they're people we need to look out for and, and nurture and get them in the right spaces because they'll do, they'll do a lot. Um, I think truth for a start would be best because, um, Right now, the attitude around the industry is, 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 okay, things are changing, I must be honest. But there's that sort of weird um, greed mentality, you know? Like, for example, if I'm a producer, right, then I call you up for a show. Since you as an actor, you know producers in Kenya or Africa like taking half of the budget to their homes, you will come with an attitude like, ah, I know Alfie has called me for a job, but well, how much is he offering? 10,000. Ah. I'm sure it's 50k, but he's giving me 10. So you won't even give me your all when you come to set, you see? So there's that attitude of people are not sure if the other person is being honest. So if truth and realism will be 
added into whatever is happening right now. And like when you come to set your sure you're getting your worth and your, you know, people will do magic. Yeah, this, that's the only hurdle. Because people have stories, people have skill, people are talented. The crew in Kenya is second to none in Africa, so we have no excuse not to be where we need to be. We just need to be a bit easy on the on the on the on the ulafi and then the corruption. Yes, yes. When it dies out or it just kidogo, will be good. I'm trusting God that. I'm gonna get there very soon, as this year in fact. Um, I have so many scripts kept, you know, I have a whole series written, I have several movies, I'm a scriptwriter as well, I also direct, yeah. So I have so much, I'm, I'm just waiting for the time when money meets story and magic will be born. I'm a good guy, I'm a fair guy, so I'm sure I'll do a good job. I don't think I can say there's been a hurdle because, um, you know, acting in the film environment does not take one person. Like, for example, if I'm given, there's a show called Sunrise, it's on Mnet. I'm ahead of, ahead, ahead a ghetto gang, you know. So my other accomplices and the people that we are maybe fighting against and, you know, the efforts, the, the antagonism, protagonism fight, makes my role look good. It's not a TRT, I'm good at being a villain. It's just because the good guys are doing their job and my fellow bad guys are complimenting me, so we turn out as a good outfit. It's not that uh, there's something nice or sinister about how I do my role. It's just any role I see, I do, the, do my research, ask the director what they want me to do because it's their show anyway, and then I try to do what they want to the best of my ability and what God can you know, furnish me to offer. Well, I must say my partner does it for me. I mean, Sarah Hassan is playing McKenna in the, in the show Crime and Justice. I mean, she, she, she gives the role so much life that you have to be at your best at every point of the scene or the day to complement her effort because she really she's a mother her kid is very young in real life she puts that all that aside to you know to focus on this and she has her family to you know look after because she's a wife and everything so to imagine that she can still up her game you know you can't you can't play it down you have to keep it up so she's awesome she's amazing she's an amazing human being and yeah and everybody else i mean Macbul, we have john cb okumu in episode one I'm telling you guys will be blown away with this show. We have very, very nice and serious characters that are just passing away. You know, every episode brings different people. So that's what I'm talking about to my partner because she's constantly on set. But the way people are just being brought on set, the new people with the new cases, crazy, yeah, yeah, hot, hot.